Hey guys, Streaming Rack War Veteran here, back with another video. This is going to be a quick product review of this Bissell Air 220 air purifier that I just recently got. Um, this is what it looks like. Here's the front. Um, this is on its auto setting right now, and it's not very loud. I don't know if you could hear that or not, but it's not loud at all. Um, it's got... That's the auto setting when it says A like that. You got one, two, three, four, and five settings. That is at its loudest setting. I'm actually going to turn this off to show you the air filters. But I have noticed already with having this for at least one day that it is seeming to make things better for me. Um, to get to the filters, just pop the front open like that. It's very simple. Nothing in that. That's just the front grill. And then this is your pre-filter uh, mesh right here to catch the largest particles like hair, or pet hair, or stuff like that. And this is your second filter, which is a 0.3 micron HEPA filter. So this got, gets a lot of the smallest particles out of the air. See, number two on top. It is a HEPA filter. It comes from Bissell, so I've already looked it up. And then further inside more, this one here is the last filter. I don't know if you can see this, but this is an activated charcoal filter. And it has tons of little charcoal pellets in each one of those honeycombs. And that is your AC type um fan that sucks the air in through here and goes out the top and there's some of the specs on it right there there you go model 2609a made in canada i guess i was looking to see if there's a made date but there is none And these are all simple to put back together. You slide one in. Slide the other one behind it, or in front of it actually. The little feet go down there in the little pegs. Just like that. And it just snaps closed. Now, the rest of the unit, there isn't much to it. Just the logo down there. This port is for I don't know what. Not much on the back. Just a place to wrap up the cord. And the other side's exactly the same thing. This is just a push button here. This is where the air comes out. It starts up. It'll sense your air. With this light, we'll have three different colors. And it'll go through and it'll change the light color depending on what your air quality is in your room. But the only documents it came with is one is this. Which just just it tells you that it takes 30 minutes to sense the air when you first turn it on. And it tells you about the one auto and one through five. And then just on and off. And then the other thing it comes with is this quick guide, basically. And the most important thing in here, I, I feel, is that on this page, it tells you the coloring. This one, this color is good air quality. Uh, that one is moderate, the yellow, and the red is bad air quality. Mine so far has been there. Um, when I first did turn it on yesterday, I did have the yellow color. So moderate air quality in my room. And this has been helping so far. But it, it's on auto, it's whisper quiet. This light doesn't stay on. So that does eventually turn off. But other than that, like I have said, this something like this is worth it for everybody, especially if you have allergies or anything else like that, which I su suffer from a lot and dripping sinuses down the back of my neck. So something like this is very important for people to actually have as far as I'm considered. Um, you can still have your window open if you choose to or whatever. 
and if you feel like it's not doing good enough you just turn it up but every time the first time you turn it on you just let it go on auto for half an hour until it senses your thing and then it will change colors and then eventually that auto light will turn off and that's when it's done its auto thing but i feel like this has been really worth it um it goes in any kind of environment that you put it in your house it's, it's actually a very nice unit i mean it's all plastic i mean it's nothing special they do make an upgraded model it's like a 320 instead of a 220 it's more expensive but it's exactly the same size and just different material this material out here is like a um um a mesh like a like a like the mesh on the front of that like a speaker grill mesh almost and then it just got the same filters in the inside and these filters aren't too much in price either i looked them up already they're about 60 to 50 to 60 dollars i think for both of the two inner filters all right guys i am streaming rackware veteran if you have any more questions uh, definitely let me know have a good one